Oh man, this is this is going to be an interesting one, man. <clears throat> All right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, you guys, which means that it is vlog day. And yeah, there's gonna there's definitely going to be a vlog. This is a vlog and you are watching it. Welcome. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do the timestamps thing here because this vlog is going to be completely different different playbook off the rails i don't know how to explain it any differently i'm honestly just shooting this quick intro as like the normal part of the vlog you see my bff in the world my bro Dwayne elmboy oc is flying in from las vegas right now in fact depending on what time it is he might have landed already and be in an uber on his way over here and he's basically going to be here for two and a half days which is all of my vlog shooting schedule so so that's why my regular vlog list of like, oh, here's news, here's reviews for things that never got reviews, here's vape mail, here's this, here's that. That's kind of bye-bye. Only because Dwayne's going to be here, I'm going to try to put in as many segments as I can. We're going to do retro vaping, you know. I do have some mail, some vape mail that I need to open. I do have some news that I would like to talk about. But honestly, it's going to be a lot of shenanigans and stuff as well. We have to go to the grocery store to get some stuff. I have to go to the post office to mail some stuff we're probably going to be driving around we're probably going to be going out and adventuring in places and then i was talking to ilea last night ilea romance mechanics ilea wake mod co that ilea and she i believe is going to come down and hang out with us one of the days so this is going to be over the course of two days that i'm shooting this vlog and like i said i'm kind of just doing this intro part right now standing up which is weird i actually kind of like it but i'm doing this so there's like some normality to the vlog. We get a nice, normal, steady intro shot because I have a feeling the rest of it, ah, it's gonna be a little all over the place. I'm gonna be using my phone sometimes. I'm gonna be using my good camera sometimes. I'm gonna be using that new camera that I bought sometimes. I might even break out my GoPro and use that for a little bit, but I am earnestly going to try to record everything that we do. I wanna have segments. I want this to be a vlog. Dwayne's here and it's going to be a little bit of a chaotic vlog and now uh yeah I, I, I am just repeating myself and now i know i just am now i'm punching my lights um there are a few things that i wanted to mention right here at the top of the vlog before anything gets too crazy i'm gonna start putting these vlogs back on soundcloud again maybe not this one just because it's gonna be all over the place but moving forward my future normal regular vlogs that i shoot i'm gonna rip the audio from those and i'm gonna put them back on soundcloud there's been a lot of people emailing me asking me where they are on soundcloud you know i, I drive you know five hours every day I usually listen to the vlog I haven't listened to the vlog in a while I really miss it so cool I'm listening and after this we're definitely gonna start putting the vlogs back on SoundCloud again which also means they'll be in the iTunes podcast app if you search uh, I think you have to search Grim Green Vlog or What's in the News Robin because on SoundCloud it's called What's in the News Robin so I'll figure out which one you need to find, but it's also on iTunes so you can listen to it on your iPhone. It's a thing I used to do because I really liked it. I really like podcasts and I didn't have a podcast at the time, so I figured the vlog, the audio from the vlog would make a good little, uh, you know, thing that you can listen to. I, I need to stop punching my light. Okay, can you move light? Um, I did, uh, I did also want to mention that I have a review just waiting to be published. I shot it way before the vape tour and it's for the, uh, you know, that I joy 24 karat single 2700 mech mod i shot it like literally about a month ago planning on publishing it while i was on the tour then that didn't happen so it's just waiting i think it's going to go up this Friday. It's just going to be a random review. I'm going to have my old shit kicker again. My chin hadn't grown in. Like I said, this was about a month ago, but it's still a good review and I'm going to publish it on Wednesday. Just be aware, you know, it's going to look different. I'm already going to get comments to be like, wow, ah, why do you look so different in this review? But it's just an old review and I'm just publishing it now. And I do have some more serious news items that I'd like to go over with Dwayne later when he gets here, but I wanted to mention Rip Trippers one more time. A lot of people felt that I, what I had said earlier, I, I was pretty hard on Rip Trippers and that wasn't my intention because I do like Rip Trippers, but Rip Trippers uploaded a new video for the soda can video for, you know, for the soda can juice. And I oh, that's rain. Oh, snap. Got you. Okay, come here. I'm sure you have no idea who it was. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. have no idea. A cloud of vapors. What was that? What you doing, babies? 
So yeah, it's happening uh, sooner than I thought. So we'll get to the Rip Trippers thing in a second. Um, but Dwayne just walked in and I want him to say... <laughs> What's up? I got me a puppy dog. Yeah. Ooh, the best dog ever in the whole world. Yeah, the Schneeko. Right here. That's the Nico. Nico loves Dwayne. Loves... Really? Dwayne loves Dwayne. Why are you standing up? Um, I was just shooting uh, an intro for the vlog, warning everybody that Dwayne's gonna be here just to yeah. fuck everything up. Please, no and kids, so just gonna... kids out of the room. Right now. <laughs> no kids in the room right now. I still have to. I haven't done my morning routine. I haven't showered. I haven't oh, done any of that. So an I'm gonna need to do that while while Dwayne's here. But I just wanted to get some video initially introducing that. Yeah, Dwayne's yeah. gonna be let's, here. Let's fuck shit up. Like mess with his lighting. No, don't mess with my. Oh, <laughs> why? Why are you dude. doing that? I have it set up in a very so, particular you're way. You're so fancy now. Well, no, not really. I like what you do with the place. I like yeah. how you put stuff there. Yeah, and things over you there. Put, you put some more There's stuff some more there. Stuff yeah, over and, there. Then, yeah. and then little That's things good. up here. Yeah. That's the way I would have done it if I know. it was my room. I was thinking, what would Dwayne do? When well, I was decorating this, and, and you killed like, it, you yeah. absolutely know. I was like, he'd definitely put that stormtrooper helmet over there. Like, Can I wear that? Right just, now? Just walking around wearing stormtroopers. We should just the rest of the day be stormtroopers. We'll just walk around in stormtrooper helmets outside? Yeah. Like go order Spurs. coffee in stormtrooper helmets? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I think you're dead. <laughs> I, I think you're just putting on a front right now, but inside you're a little kid. That's I'm at actually Disneyland. really into that like, idea. Yes, We're baby. not going to do that. But Dwayne's here, so whatever here's the vlog you guys <laughs> yeah, go shower. enjoy go shower. let's do this okay well now that Dwayne's farted and i'm showered and ready to go and apparently Dwayne was rummaging through my stuff over here yeah. over there what did you take did you take something from over there no okay. no 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 did no, no. Take... i took new stuff in the box oh okay that's fine yeah that's you'll, fine you won't even know yeah, you're welcome to take any of one day you're gonna go be like oh where's that new reload that i wanted to review and oh, so it's gone call me and i'll let <laughs> you know how, 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 how is it how's yeah. that reload bro we'll skype we'll do a skype review on that what i was talking about earlier is rip trippers um a, a while ago weeks ago before way before the vape tour i did a video about in a vlog and I was talking about Rip Trippers and how he was promoting this juice that came in a soda can. And I thought that was, I felt like that was a little bit over the line. There's a lot of liquid companies that pack their liquids in things. And this is the shit we're getting called out for. They're getting packaged in soda cans or like, what's the ice cream? There's an ice cream one. I want to call out yeah. all these vendors. Yeah, don't But it's like an ice cream thing. And then there was one that came in like a pound cake box, like the tin, the liquid came in a pound cake thing. These things are really bad, but what Rip Trippers did that I have to, have to give him credit for, good on you man, is he talked to the manufacturer and he got them to stop production and stop selling the liquid in the fucking can. Yeah. I think that's awesome. That's actually using your power. Yeah, that's really wisely. fucking cool. So, you know, shout out to Rip Trippers. Like I said, I like Rip Trippers. I think he's a great guy, and I think he's doing awesome videos. And ultimately, he's getting more people into this. He's he's hurting people. I'm going to punch that light so many times, are, bro. But I'm glad it's not uh, It's because I talk with my hands. I know. You're very You're articulated. like the bouncer for the light. You're yeah, like, hey, I mean, just <laughs> back off. Hey, hey, can, can, hey he's with down. me. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he did it. And uh, he talked to the manufacturer, and they're not doing that. And then the label's on on the bottle aren't uh they're they're fine they're 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 fine uh colorful labels they, they could be uh i don't know a little bit borderline but as long as it's not coming in that can that's awesome uh so i think that's i think that's really cool so they're shout stoked. out to rip trippers for doing that and for uh for changing the industry for the better uh, you know credit where credit is due he changed the industry for the better too bad you know? it takes all that to get them to change up <laughs> they're okay with it though well, because they're already out there they already got all this. Yeah, they already got all the publicity that now they want. Now everybody's yeah. seen their product, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we'll change the can now." We'll that's get rid a of very that. yeah. That's a very tinfoil outlook to have on it's the, the way I, see I try it. to avoid that. But that is there's basically kind of there's a lot of, kinda, there's kinda a lot of companies that use the whole shock marketing, and, and then, then they and change. Then they change. Yeah. There's another company that was yeah. with ECC that just did it. That was sponsoring ECC. Yeah, and that, then they rebranded, yeah. and everyone celebrated their rebranding, <laughs> which is horrible. And now <laughs> they sell three hundred thousand bottles of juice a month. 
and and their company's like one of the biggest yeah. out there. Maybe the it was a marketing tactic. Oh, let me get Chris your Cross. thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think this is a genuine thing? I think it was a genuine thing. I think Rip had saw it. He saw what had happened. He contacted the company and said, look, you guys can't fucking do this. And he basically used his clout and said, you know, you guys should really change this. And then they changed it. I mean, I've done that on a smaller scale with some Chinese companies. They didn't really, really listen to me. Yeah, there was a company that released the Minion RTA. It looked oh, like a little God. Minion. And yeah. I was said, no. You, I was like, you cannot do this. No. This is horrible. <laughs> that, that is I was like, please stop. Soda can juice. And they gave me their word. Uh-huh. And then the Minion released? <laughs> and then the Minion released all over the place. And they're like, oh no, we released two versions. One's the Minion one, and one's called the Skelly. And it had a skeleton on it. And I was like, no, that's not good enough. That's why I hate <sighs> companies that are... Whatever. That's it's why cool. I hate big corporate companies in this industry. Especially... Yeah. I mean, China does a lot of good for us in the industry, but at the end of the day, do they really care? Hey, we got a yak really rant care? coming up here. We got a yak rant right here. I'm serious though. That's no, no, why I, I like to see like I know this is you what got we've been talking smaller about a lot. people in the industry that are in the industry that you know that create. They they start from the bottom. Look at M Turk, great example. M -Turk, yeah, yeah, yeah. M Turk, love M Turk. Yeah, he started out with his coil line, mm -hmm. right? It worked his way up to a juice line. Yeah, who knows. He did an RDA. He did, he did an a RDA. collaboration RDA. And his builds are legendary. Yeah. And he's and that's, created a lot. That's, that's somebody that's come up within this industry. That's somebody that I want to see yeah. create design and manufacture products for industry rather than see China minions and yeah. people and they who don't make care. And quadrillion dollars on it. But anyway. That's my rant. That's the rant. The whole point of this was to say I think that was a good thing. Yeah. Uh, it could have Who been knows? a marketing thing, and if I'd love to get your comments, you know, your uh, thoughts down in the comments below. Do you think it was genuine? Do you think it was a marketing thing? I, 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 bl I think it was genuine. That's where I land on this. I think it was genuine. Uh, it's marketing. He thinks it was marketing 101, but he is. You're the marketing guy, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's marketing 101. You, you kinda yeah. Shock and awe people, and then you go, oh, remove the soda can now. <laughs> and now no, we're going to sell huge billion bottles of juice. Well, they're already selling a ton of yeah. juice. Wow, interesting. That's an interesting take, sir. You're, you're welcome. Well, so what we're going to move uh, on now is I had another, a couple other news items that we're talking about, but we're not going to talk about those right now. But what I want to do right now, since I have Dwayne here, is we're going to talk about what I've been vaping, and then I'm going to let Dwayne vape everything that I have been vaping. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what I've been vaping first and foremost is the Mi One. I took this on tour. I vaped it a lot. The battery's dying, so it's not amazing, but it's still pretty good. Try it. Mi cool. One. This it's 18 milligram. Uh, I haven't had an outbreak in months. Strawberry so champagne. I trust great. you. Yeah. 18. Careful. Yeah, it's 18, bro. Yeah, I, I vaped six. I dripped six. Like okay. Well, this is that's a mouth to lung, and this is a mouth to lung too. This is still the K Fun Light, mm -hmm. and Ruby Roo actually corrected me. This isn't the K Fun Light Plus. This is the K Fun Light Just. This is before the AFC was introduced. This is just the I K love Fun that drip Light. Tip. Dude, yeah, it's so that good. Drip tip is just, yeah. It's amazing. Made in India. This is mouth to lung as well. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I got to practice my mouth to lung. Yeah, see, this is try it so on this long. one. This Since one's a little been, bit more restricted. You can try that one. I always call it the My One. Try it. Not the Me One. Is it the My One or the Me One? Does anybody else call it the My One? That's the first time I've ever heard that. I'm not. Ooh. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty rocking. So that's what it's like when you have every RDA and tank at your disposal. You set up good, good ones. Stuff like this. Oh. Dude, the K-Fun, man, stands the test of time. Oh, bro. So good. Where has it been all my life? I told you. K-Fun. Dude. That's the only one I have. I can't give you one. I don't have to that's be That's the one thing I don't clouds. have. <laughs> I don't have to live clouds, bro, clouds my whole life. I can right. actually expand and, and, and have some mouth and throat hit mm. action happen. Mm. That's so good. I mean, it's flavorful, but it's not dripper it's pretty flavorful, flavorful. But the K Fun is like the flavor tank of all flavor tanks, in my opinion. This is. I think opinion, it has great flavor. I think that's a flavor? great flavor tank. Flavor and what like milligram is this? Eighteen. That's Eight, eighteen. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're gonna feel good in a second. Yeah, he's getting a lot of nicotine right now. But I've also been. I'm still hanging in there with the Churchill RTA. Um, I got some good suggestions about how to place my coils differently so the flavor is a little bit better. This, that, and the other. So I'm still gonna spend some time with this guy but it's just a clouds bro clouds sort of uh you know lung inhale i just did a review for this it's up on youtube now if you want to watch it still loaded up with cookie see i thought the flavor was kind of lacking on this rta but i'll let you judge it too i've never tried cookie i don't have to compare it to anything but 
Look at vaping at 20 watts. That's yeah. the only time you'll you know ever see me vaping at 20 watts. A single 18650 lasts at 20 watts. Mm. It's incredible. It lasts I've never been able forever. to. Here, let's try Here, try this one. Trade. That's the Telios cookie. I think you've had that. Have I think I you've had, had the cookie. It's this one. It's cookie. Just the overall flavor level, I feel like it's muted in that. You've never had it before. I've though, never so had you that. You can't really say for yeah. sure. But I think it's a I little bit. I'd be lying to you if I'm like, oh well. Yeah. You know, the, de definitely the definitely muted. Notes are coming in <laughs> low on this one. I like this. No. Just standing around. Standing around. Not sure what that's doing for the microphone levels, but I actually really like it. Anyway, yeah, I just try to talk loud. This that's not bad. I mean, it's good, right? It's no strawberry apple peach, obviously. Obviously, it's a dessert. It's pretty good. So it's not my forte. But it's like the tank. The airflow's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I don't get no like dry, weird hits. Let's try to let's see how long we can hit it for. No, let's really not do that. Here, paces. let's move on to the next thing. Loch Ness from uh, Vape Envy. Uh, UL Valerian tank on top, which I still think is one of the best sub owned tanks. That's a dessert flavor, so you might not. Wait, enjoy so what it. was the tank that we were just vaping? This is the Church Hill. That's this a coil the Church head? Hill RTA. No, this RTA. Is a, this is one you build. Okay, that's one you build. This is one that's just a drop in coil head. Just coil heads. Just coil heads, and okay. you can rip it pretty good. Very airy. Yeah. Right out the but gate. But that's I closed love that. down halfway. Open it up all the way and see how airy it is. I close my Valerian down halfway when I vape it. Phenotype airflow. It's Back a lot of airflow. Day, that's a lot of airflow. I think it's too wow. much airflow. I turn that it down halfway. And it's perfect. I think it's perfect. A coil head rips. Yeah, it's a good coil head, huh? It's a decent coil head. Yeah, it's a good tank. It's a good easy fill tank, too. Yeah, I like that. I think that's one of the best sub tanks on the market right Get now. Get yourself one. I mean, if I was into tanks. I think it's kick ass. That's not bad. And then lastly, this fanciness arrived just before the vape tour, and I didn't get to take it. But it's the Vicious Ant Squonker, the Vanguard, okay. single, single 18650 regulated. It's only at 52 watts because it's, it's just the way this chip life. is, man. It's just the way the chip is. So it's a point four. It's a point three nine at 52 watts. Single, dual, dual coils. Dual coils. Round wire. How did you get it that high? Center post build. I'll show you. It's going to be weak. Yeah, God, why couldn't they make that a dual yeah. 18650? You need more wattage than that. Yeah. I feel like I need more wattage than that, too, if I'm being real honest about the Vanguard, but I think it's a dope I think it's a and dope it's mod. it's a squonk? It's a squonk. In fact, look at this. Look at the way that the bottle comes out. So you, this door is magnetic, and it comes straight out okay. like this, right? And then the bottle, you grab it up here, and it comes straight oh, out, nice. and then you just unscrew this, you fill it up, Press it back in, and then that's it. Then you're ready. You you can continue your squonking lifestyle. Those clever and it squonks, guys. and the rebel looks fucking perfect. Yeah, that is seamless. Look, it looks perfect on there. That is literally as it's perfect close as you will get. Yeah, it's pretty damn perfect, up. and it doesn't inhibit the airflow in any way. The only problem is it's a single eighteen six fifty, so your wattage is going to be low. Your vape is going to be cooler. It's super comfy. That's super I comfy, looked at, isn't it? I was, the first thing I thought were these jagged edges right here, and right. that jagged edge. But when you hold it, when you, you hold it, it, that really doesn't matter. It just look it at Dwayne trying to squonker. Is this the first time you've ever vaped a squonker? The drip tech. Like, oh no, no, okay, yeah, the drip tech. I got DS, the drip yeah. tech DS yeah. rolling. Right. But that's like a big dual 18650 squonker or triple. I need yeah something squonker. regulated need something that squonks. Dual 18650 squonker. If they could make it like the Minikin 2, you know, but a squonk box rounded like that, I would be in So heaven. I did Canthal, uh, nine wrap on a four millimeter and did a center post build in the Recoil Rebel. Wow, you still remember how to build, bro? Yeah, I did that. I probably couldn't even do that it's now. It's pretty good. It's been and so that long. And some ring, look, I'm not trying to just talk about our own product, but that Ultim ring for squonking, when you squeeze it's the made juice. It's for squonking, dude. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it just no, but it, goes and saturates it and holds it all in. It's amazing. It works amazing for squonking. That's an, I wasn't even planning. I didn't even our think own product about. Right well, no. There. Even when we were designing that Ultim ring, or when you thought of the Ultim ring, I wasn't even thinking about it in like a squonking application. It wasn't. I was just of, thinking for dripping because we think drip. About that either. But when you squonk, it's fucking rad. Anyway. Yeah. Comfier. That mod is comfier than it looks. It really is. That's that's my review on it. Anyway, thanks for the review, Dwayne. You're welcome. Anyway, that's what I've been vaping, and the vlog will continue.
Well, we decided to uh, make this a little bit more intimate and come out here on the patio. Mm, I feel hey. like I'm not the first guy you brought out on this oh, patio. Oh, you aren't. <laughs> oh! Anyway, we're going to taste some beer. Dwayne doesn't drink beer, so he has a PBR. Let's show everybody the PBR. Hey! Yeah. I do drink beer. That's you drink, a lie. I'll drink a PBR. You're shaking it up right now. You're like, yeah, yeah look foam. at that. Well, you want foam, right? That's good. How, what do you think of the PBR? Ah, it's desert beer. That's what we call desert beer. <laughs> Desert beer? That's desert beer. Okay. You drink these at the okay. desert all day. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Ooh, you're looking better already. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, yeah. You're looking hot. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's why the beer's kicking in. Yeah. You look good. Um, mm-hmm. But the beer that I have that Dwayne's going to show us all is my spokes model. This is uh, Belching Beaver Brewery, mm-hmm. peanut butter milk stout. Uh, Belching Beaver is, of course, a local San Diego brewery. I love uh, San Diego for the beer, um, as well as many other reasons, obviously. But I love San Diego because of the beer and the beer scene. And there's a lot of really great breweries down here. And Belching Beaver is one of those like proud San Diego breweries that I just love. Dwayne, have you ever had anything from Belching Beaver before? No. Never? No, and never, no I would never seek a Belching Beaver. Okay, well... Yep. You want me to open this? Should I shake yeah, it? Yeah, open first? it. No, no, just open it. Shake it. Open it. Just oh, just open it. Yeah, or just shake open it? it. No, leave the shaking out. I thought you out. said shake it. I, d- I know I did earlier. <laughs> okay. Right. So, Don't do that. <laughs> so rewind. No shaking. So step one. Just open. Step one used to be shake. Step one is now don't shake. Don't shake. And then step two is open it. Okay, I can do that. So skip ahead to step two. There you go. Look at that. And uh, he's even going to pour it into my uh, Pilsner style glass for me. Look at this service. Look at at this. With Dwayne, you get nothing but good service. I mean, that's just how he rolls. I mean, that's why I came out here was to pour you a beer. Yeah. Well, you did a really good job. Well, you don't want it too foamy, right? Well, you want a little bit of foam. You want to aerate. You want the aromatics oh, to aerate you through, to through the carbonation. Yeah, shake up the glass. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All, right. All right. Ah, ah thank you, Let's, sir. I'll thank you some, for my I'll, beer. I'll have some uh, Belching Beaver. I've had this before. It's quite delicious. Uh, it's very peanut buttery, uh, and we'll talk about that in a second. Here, cheers, bro. Cheers. Top. Yeah. It's very stouty. Uh, it's a milk stout, so there's not a lot of carbonation in it. It tastes uh, a little bit flat. Does it taste a little bit flat to you? It tastes like shit. Do you taste the peanut butter, though? Yeah, it tastes like ground-up coffee and peanut butter. Yes, it does taste like ground-up coffee and peanut butter. So Belching Beaver uses... Uh, they're one of the they're one of the few breweries, I believe, that uses like actual flavorings, flavorings in their beers. They have a horchata milk stout that tastes like you're just drinking candy. It yes. tastes like candy beer. It's unbelievable, and I think it's because they use those flavorings. Like, they add sweetness to it. It's basically like the Dwayne of beers. It's like Dwayne adds sweetener to e-juice. Exactly. E-liquid gets it's sweetener. 10%. Yeah, 10% All sweetener. <laughs> no, okay, Dwayne doesn't really use 10% no. sweetener. That's ridiculous. Oh he does not use 10% Half sweetener. Half a percent at most, guys. Never, yeah. never exceed a And so that's percent. what I feel like this is. I feel like apart from the peanut butter flavoring that they pretty clearly add to this, it's still... It's very distinct. It's still a really good milk stout. It's mm-hmm. bold. Uh, it's actually a little bit cleaner than a lot of other stouts, but it's still very bold. It, stills, it feels very heavy heavy in the mouth. It's got a big kind of syrupy mouth feel. Now that you said syrupy. Yeah, it's a little bit syrupy in the mouth. But it's still clean when you swallow it. You get a little bit of lingering flavor, but for the most part, it's a fairly clean beer. You know what else is good and clean? PBR. PBR. Yeah. It's American beer right it's here. American beer. I don't have anything to pair it with. Unfortunately, all I have is the sticks, yes. which I don't think here. This is going to be a team effort. Oh, Ugh. yeah. So hold the beer. Whoa. Oh, God. You're not supposed to. That was hit my fault. That was beer. my bad. That was my bad. Party foul. Here's what we're going to have to do is I'm going to take a toot of this. And then I'm going to set the mod down, and I'm going to reach for the beer. Okay, okay yeah. I we'll think we can do this. I feel like this isn't beyond our reach of no, this cooperation. Is <laughs> Think the beer, be the beer. Think the beer, be the beer. Give me that beer. Oh, you got the beer. Teamwork, bro. Yeah. Teamwork. As I suspected, yeah, it's a terrible a pairing. Uh, strawberry wafer and peanut butter milk stout. It's not a good pairing, though, it's is it? very good. Anyway, um, yeah, so check them out. Uh, Belching Beaver out of San Diego. Uh, delicious beer, delicious uh, peanut butter milk stout, but just be aware that they, they add flavorings. Try the horchata one first, and you'll see what I mean. It's like sugary. 
trip how's, with my pairing. How's your pair with the uh, with the PBR there? Amazing. PBR goes with anything. Yeah, PBR it, really it pairs, does go with anything, it though. It pairs with, I don't know, hangovers and bad decisions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it pairs with. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, sorry for the shaky handy cam on this, but uh, we're, we're just hanging out. Um, it's been a long day, and we've been shooting a lot of video and doing a lot of other worky stuff, and so it's good. Good fun. things. It's, it's been, been real fun, fun so far. It's gonna. It's about to get yeah, a lot more fun. You want some PBR fun. in there? Yeah. Just dump some in. Definitely. Let's yeah. see how that goes. Yeah. That's my mix. Mm. Uh, you get that? You get that on your palate? It doesn't even taste like anything. It, it tastes like you just added water to this. Ooh, excuse <laughs> That's me. it. Oh my god. Just water. I don't know what else is coming next in this crazy mishmash out of order vlog. Uh, Ilea's gonna be here tomorrow, and we are definitely gonna be eating rice and beans. <laughs> We bought rice and we bought beans. Video? No, we're gonna film well, that's Ilea. Already covered by yeah, Ilea. Ilea's already Unused covered it. I'll link Thank to God. her rice and beans video in the description of this video. Watch it, so you can see the legendary <laughs> Ilea make legendary rice and beans. And we're gonna eat. We're having rice and beans dinner tomorrow night. I expect to have my mind blown by the best rice and beans ever. <laughs> Ilea's hyped these up. There's, she really has. She's there's been. She's like, it's all I eat. I just eat rice and beans. <laughs> We've been talking about rice and beans for over years. two years. Yeah, now. it's been years. Yeah, it's been We've been talking to Ilea about rice and beans. Rice Sorry, beans. we'll get Ilea back up on YouTube. Anyway, uh, the next segment is a mystery, so we'll get there when we get there. Well, we are going to, I don't know, we're going to sit here and open some vape mail. I'm still trying to go through some vloggy things. We're gonna do a retro vaping later. We're gonna drink some beer later, probably. Hey. hey. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm, I'm ready for we're gonna a beer. Op we're gonna open some vape mail. Um, this isn't vape mail, actually. This is mail, Let me make sure I don't show my address. Shit. This is mail from uh, someone I follow on Instagram. God, I wish I could, I can't remember his name and I don't have my phone, but we'll get there when we get there. Why? Cut away. Oh yeah, cut yeah. towards your buddy, not your body. Oh, this what? is a bunch of T-shirts. What? This is a bunch of T-shirts. Yeah, individually wrapped T-shirts. This is from uh, this is from a company called Hexed Clothing, and they kind of remind me of like something that you know, like that I would be into, or like Jess would be into, like evil, yeah. evil dark metally Satan-y stuff. And he runs uh, Hexed clothing and so i know there's a couple t-shirts in here that i really like i'm not a huge fan you know look let's be real honest i'm not a huge fan of all the designs of this company but he's a cool guy and they have cool logos and they have cool uh you know, i don't know there you go it says hexed clothing on the front and on the back you got kind of a dope picture look at that i don't Is that know a burning church kind of looks like a burning church and a hand with an orb sphere in it I don't know. I like this kind of art. It reminds me of like tattoo shit. I think it looks cool. If we went through your most recent recent used emojis on yeah. your phone, guarantee you, flames and churches. <laughs> yeah, that are could probably be in there. In the top two, that or could three. probably be in there. But uh, shout out to Hex Clothing for the T-shirts. Obviously, I'm not going to open them all right now. But shout out to Hex Clothing. I'll put a link down in the description uh, to their Instagram account where you can check them out and check out all their T-shirts and designs and stuff like that. I think they have a really I don't know. I think they have a cool logo as well. Any smalls in there for me? I'm, smalls? I'm squeezing into a small these days. I told you that's the yeah. trick. Less working out, yeah. smaller clothing. You want to go for that one? Yeah, so this is the Careful. proper way to cut opening packages is away. away. Do you want to know where this came from? No, that doesn't matter. It's impossible to figure out. Straight out of China. Yeah, it's just... Hashtag metal atomizer sample so i know it's an atomizer watch yourself i got it. there's a knife you're like you're dude you're like my mom you even have a trash bag ready for all yeah, this yeah it's vanilla scented smell it mm, i love everything it smells vanilla. like vanilla even okay. Dwayne likes it what do we got Dwayne? hold on this is <laughs> let's make air this flow resistors. Well, let me open this okay these are airflow resistors airflow resistor plus we have no idea what that is don't know. Point. Not sure. So, yeah, this is the Mouth to Lung RTA from Cthulhu. Cthulhu did uh, a bunch of things. They did a bunch of RDAs that I can't think of right now, including that Mesh R RDA that was for Squonkers. They did another RTA that I can't remember the name of, but this is the Has... How do you think you say that? Haster? Hastur. 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 The Hastur. Hastur. Mouth to Lung RTA. Their box is always open a little bit weird. Oh, yeah, look at that. There it's it is. A little 
jewelry case. Look at that guy. Look at mine. It's got a little squid on it or a yeah. little octopus or what is yeah. that? Is that that's a, Cthulhu? That's them. That's their company logo. Yeah, the company logo is that's Cthulhu. the best they could do, huh? Yeah. No, sh- I think that looks cool. It looks kind of cool. It looks like a bearded squid. It looks like a squid version of like that dot mod logo. That's what it looks like to me. Kind of, yeah, actually. <laughs> but this is a mouth to lung RTA, and I'm assuming that those uh, airflow inhibitor things. Are going to be to make it more mouth to lungy. Ooh, yeah, there you instructions. go. Instructions. There you go. Don't read those. There's Throw the those 1. away. We'll 2, figure it out. The one point two. The one point four. Okay, cool. Small chamber. There you go. Mouth to lung tank from Cthulhu. And as always, with any of my vape mails, if you see something that I open and you're like, "Hey, Nick, review that first or review that sooner." Let me know. I always want to know what you guys are into, and if you want to see me review this sooner rather than later, just just let me know or let Dwayne know. I mean, let's yeah. let someone at the at the Grim Green Industries know. Did yours come with a baggie? Was there a baggie on the inside? Yeah, I didn't make it that far. No. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Well, sometimes Dwayne, we set we save the bubble wrap so that when I'm shipping out two dollar sale packages later, I can use the bubble wrap that China sends me. Smart man. That's a good way to go. I'm gonna move this microphone a little bit closer. Sorry, editing Nick. You're gonna have to adjust the volume now. I feel like this is a trick box. <laughs> That's the way I always feel every time. Is, I like having Dwayne here to open my vape mail for me. This, this is, is a great. Trick box. I just watch him do me. it, and then, and then I get to play oh, with him. Oh, there better not be anything no, exploding there's... <laughs> in here, because. Kudos to you, sir. If there is, if I get a face full of I glitter. I did not think ahead that far. I will laugh so hard, and I will look like a retired stripper for the rest of the night. Yeah. Well, I didn't think that far ahead. I could have easily pranked Dwayne during this time. Dear Graham Green, okay, that's the boring part. You sucked at reviewing our last product. Hey, champ, do you think you could Don't give us a good review on this one? Mm-hmm. I mean, we are Wismec, after all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Wismec, new samples for your testing. You want to see what's in here? Da, this da, is the exciting da. part. There one you for go. me and one for you. Perfect. This is the uh, CB60. Looks to be a single 18650 uh, 60 watt. Comes Probably comes Check with an Check it RDA. out, bro. Yeah, we might as well. We don't have much vape mail today, so we're going to uh, we're gonna investigate all of these. He's going to edit all this, make it super quick. <laughs> don't waste your time at home. Yeah. I'll, I'll edit it out. Okay. Oh, you're right. Well, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little guy. It's, it's that uh, fake, you know, brushed... Uh, brass sort of look yeah, on that's there. that's kind of cool. It's tiny. That is a tiny look little at, thing. Look at all of this. <laughs> all of this for a little, little, little and one of those. And it does come with its own uh, oh, sub-ohm tank as well. Yeah, I mean, it comes with a sub-ohm tank. Joytech, uh, I'm pretty sure Joytech owns Wismec. And I think Joytech and Wismec just have 8,000 sub-ohm tank designs. And then they just release one with every mod that comes number. out. There's yeah. a new, this is one. It's probably not going to be compatible with like any other sub tanks they've released. It's got its own fill design, its own airflow design, and they borrow from each other all the time. Like what? There's there's no battery in here. It's an is it internal? Yeah, it's an internal. Yeah, it's an internal battery. Well, let's see what the specs are. Uh, Wismec coil head, user manual, spare parts. Doesn't say. I imagine that it's got to be better than an eighteen six fifty. Otherwise, they would have just put an eighteen six fifty in here, right? Maximum output sixty watts. Yeah, but yeah. no specs. It doesn't have any specs on like what the battery is on the inside. It looks kind of cool, though. I think that looks kind of cool. But it cool. feels weird in your hand. That it just feels just, small. Yeah. It feels really tiny. I can't, I'm confused on how I hold it. I would hold it like this. See, let me see how I would hold it. I think that... You thumb it? Thumb and that would be more natural, but it's still... I like it. I like the, I do fingers. I finger my mods. You finger hey. your mods? Hey! We've all heard that joke a, a quadrillion times. But yeah, I okay. finger my mods. Okay, here. Well, let's put, put this away. Thanks, Wismec, for sending that out. If it's something you want to see, let me know. We'll do it. We'll make it happen. For sure. I'll put the John Doe letter in here. Careful. That was just open, sitting on the couch next to me. That's how I stabbed myself when I was a kid. You I had sat it on in my, knife? I had my knife on my bed, open, like this, and I jumped onto the bed, and it went... Right here into my leg. I still have the scar 
in my leg. It did not hurt. It did that not sounds hurt. horrific. No, the worst part was... Did it, like, was, go into your muscle? Yeah, it went straight in. And the worst part was I felt no pain. And you don't trust me with that knife? Well, I learned my lesson. You, That's true. I have not learned a hard lesson like that yet. Digits. <laughs> Ooh la la, what is this? What is it? Oh! Vandy Vape, Kensi, Kensi. Here, you want to give me a slice across the back yeah, there? Yeah, let to, me do that a little teamwork. Little, yeah, uh, there you go. Did I get it's it? the, nope. <laughs> God. Ah. You said this thing's sharp. It is sharp. Here, let me. I don't, he's waving that knife around. Teamwork makes the dream work, bro. Like he's fucking. How far I is can't the hospital of, from here? I was thinking like. Tom Cruise, but that doesn't make much sense. You're waving There's that no knife analogy. around like an action hero. Thanks, bro. I, I did a half-ass job. Yeah, really half-ass job. We're going to have to evaluate that on your next performance review. <laughs> <I think. laughs> this is the Kens Kensi. Kensi RTA. Look at that. Ooh. It looks like an RTA. Ooh. Yeah, it's RTA-ish. I like that uh, font. I like that, the design on the font. It looks goon compatible. The font is pretty cool on there. It looks like a tag, like it yeah. was tagged on there. I That's think that closer. looks cool. And it's an RTA, and it does come with the bubble glass, which I'm not a big fan of. No, dude. I hate the way that bubble glass looks on there. No. I just want a straight up and down RTA. Can you give me that? Well, should we try to look at the deck? Yeah. Whoa. Look at that thing. Holy Yeah, it's rebel. basic. It's honestly kind of recoily. Yeah, holy rebel deck. <laughs> if I'm being honest, it looks a lot like the rebel deck I can't right hate. there. It's a good deck design. It so is a good deck design. Hate. I don't know. I kind of want to put this together sooner rather than later. Let me know. Kensi from Vandy Vape. I'd thumb up that. You'd I'd thumb up that? I'd thumb up that. I'd give it a thumb up. How many packages do we have left over there, two. Dwayne? Uh, looks like two. Uh, two one of them. Uh, one of them is definitely from Coil Art. One of them's from Joy Tech. This one is from dun, To Be dun, Determined. Dun, dun. Dot dot dot. Oh, you're cutting towards yourself, Dwayne. Proper knife <laughs> safety. Not the boss of me, okay? <laughs> oh, it's uh, more basilisks. Oh, oh more? these are. Uh, so Watofo, they sent me. Um, I'm going to open one of these. Let's pick okay. one of these to open. I'll pick the same one that I had before. These are resin, right? Yeah, these are resin boxes. He sent me a replacement for the one I one I broke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot how cool this was when it's not broken. The you Basilisk gotta... is such a cool mod. Hey, I like it. I got a good idea. What? People are going to probably hate me for this. What? But you have an extra one. Yeah. Let's go drop it off the balcony and see if it holds up. Oh God, no! You can't. Let's you can't. Do it. No, we can't. It wasn't. You want to drop this place? from a from a story up? Okay, onto we'll go metal halfway stairs. down the stairs. Okay, we'll drop this down the stairs. Not this one. Yes. Oh uh, no! I don't want to break one. I'm gonna make. Let me make sure I have enough to give away first. Because I'm not ruining a mod that could go to somebody. Who the fuck wants I to, feel who bad wants to about buy that. it if it's going to break anyways? I think this is quality research we're doing here. Okay, well, let's ask uh, let's, w w let's ask Instagram. We'll ask Instagram what they think. And so instead of setting up something and vaping it from the vape mail segment like I usually do, instead I'm going to ask Instagram if they want me to drop this basilisk down my metal stairs. <laughs> With batteries in it. Yeah. To with add batteries. to the weight. Oh, that's dangerous. Five feet. <laughs> We're going to do a five foot drop. Five this foot is... drop. Okay, well, here, we need to ask Instagram real okay. fast. Okay, um, I have a yes or no poll question for you guys today. I'm shooting the vape mail segment for the vlog, and instead of something setting something up, Dwayne has the idea that we'll just drop a basilisk down my stairs. Yeah. To test it, durability, if you want to see that happen, vote. Okay, next, on to the next one, Joy but I, Tech. I'm going to let him open that, and I'm going to say I'm going to keep using the one that they sent me in the exact design to replace it and see if under normal conditions, maybe not falling that far, if it if it can hold up. They said that's something that's not shouldn't be happening, so we're going to test it. We're going to test out the basilisk. What'd you get? Penguins? Oh, this is the dolphin. Oh, okay. Okay. Which is so, like Joy Tech released the penguin, and this is the dolphin. This is the dolphin from Joy Tech. Uh, it looks like it has an auto switch. It looks like it uses the same coil heads. They have mouth to lung coil heads, and they have direct lung coil heads. 2,100 Ma or milliamp hour battery. Uh, the coils are stainless steel 316. Puts out a maximum of 50 watts. It's designed to be a little little thing. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that dolphin. I feel like that's, that's the dolphin. I feel like that it should clean my ears. This uh, or my it, nose. Yeah, it does feel like that. Like it's, if you have a stuffed up nose. Yep. You go, whoop. Oh, oh shit, yeah. The dolphin came. Dang, through. that really helped. Or yeah. like your infant, like you take their temperature. That's what it reminds me of. It kind of, honestly, and I don't, 
I'm not saying this. Go ahead, say it. Nick. I'm not saying this to like disrespect Joy Tech. Whatever. They're a great company. They release good products. This mod in general feels a little uh, Fisher Pricey. Doesn't <laughs> that's it? The, that's the vibe I'm getting. It's a little Fisher Pricey, man. But hey, to each their own. Like you might be into this. You might yeah. need a Fisher Price mod to go in your. Fisher it Price. Looks Fisher Price. To be clear, this mod is not from Fisher Price. We want to, you know, don't let that get any farther. It just looks. You have to load it up with juice. So you have this big tier. Let's let's uh, let's try to show you guys this. Bro, oh, we just want orange. it to focus. Focus on me. This is it. This is the dolphin. Uh, it's dropping out of focus. This is the dolphin. It's got a tank, plastic. I don't know. My focus is not going to work on here. That's okay. It just feels overall a little Fisher pricey. What's that one? Ooh, nude. It yeah. comes in nude color as well. <laughs> that wow. skin tone. Look at that skin tone, though. Mm -hmm. I could see this, though. Like, I could see Casey using this. Oh, absolutely. Like, she could grab this and, and vape it. I think. Absolutely. Here, let's put it away. Okay. Let's, in fact, we'll save that one and we'll make Casey vape it later. Oh, All right. This is like Christmas morning over here. Yeah. I like this. I'm glad it feels that way to you. It does. This is work for you. <laughs> for me, it's like Christmas. Yeah, I'm just I hoping one it. of these boxes contains something really cool. <laughs> that I can oh, steal. look at an iPad. <laughs> yeah. Shit. We're reviewing iPads for Apple. They sent us 20. There's tech reviewers that actually do that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Apple for sure. Apple send them products. Yeah, nope. Apple sends them products all the I'm time. Holding. I know. I'm, I'm just being careful. Oh, oh shit. I'm going to call him. Dwayne's using a knife wrong. Coil art, bro. Yeah, what coil is art. coil art coming through with? I think it's a, a new. Uh, 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 mod uh, atomizer combo. Ooh, coil art batteries? What? Does coil art have their own branded batteries right now? Oh, they really do. Okay, well, we got some coil art batteries. All right. Are they so, 18650? Of no, course. They're 21.7s. Yeah, they're 21.7s. Well, hey, I know a lot of people have been looking for batteries. These are 21700, not yeah. 2700. 217. That means they're bigger diameter. Oh, dude, you're losing a set of these. Those are kind of honking batteries. Dude, those are. Oh it says, God. okay, so let's just look over the specs of these right now. These are coil out branded batteries, so obviously. Coil Art doesn't have a battery manufacturing facility, so these are rewraps. <laughs> these are a rewrapped cell for sure. They say 4,000 ma and maximum discharging current is 40 amps. The maximum. Mooch. I'm going to say that I don't... Yeah, Mooch. Mooch. We need Mooch. Mooch, Mooch if you're out there and you're being entertained by this vlog. Yeah, laughing at our if you're glasses. <laughs> even if you're not laughing, even if you're watching this vlog and you feel a little bit ashamed to be watching the vlog, <laughs> uh, hit us up in the comments uh, or hit me up via email and let me know about some information about these uh, batteries. If you've had a chance to test them, I would love to send you a set. If not, then we'll get you some and you can test them because the world needs to know if these are really 4,000 ma 40 amp 21 700 batteries that means they're bigger that means these aren't going to fit in a lot of things that i like that run 2700 batteries nope it's they're just going to fit in their own batteries i like how beefy they look though they're they look yeah nice. they do look monstrous what's the mod what's the, what okay. is that that's a squonk whoa oh yeah it's a squonk are okay. they both squonks they're, they're that's a squonk. Oh, that's Look. the D-Pro. Okay, so this is... Dwayne's messing up my whole flow here. This yeah, is the yeah. Azeroth squonk kit. Uh-huh. So it's got a squishy Ultim button. It's got a very... Feel that bottle. Oh, Wow, yeah. that's what crazy that? that's, bottle. Uh, what's that made of? Um, it's that weird material. Oh, there's a word for it, though. Yeah, they there is it. a word for it. They did name, name it. This material. <laughs> they did name silicone. it. Silicone. It's silicone. Yeah. It's a silicone... And it looks like an improved uh, D Pro atomizer that doesn't have a squonk pin in it. Why would you pack in a not? What? Why would you pack you in an atomizer that doesn't have a squonk pin in it? Oh, it comes with one. I feel like that should be installed. Some assembly Am I crazy? Required. Slight assembly If you're packing an, an atomizer in with a squonk mod, I feel like the atomizer should have the proper squonk pin in it. That's common logic. Yeah, whatever. Who That's thinks okay. like that these nah, days? Definitely not coil. Right, put That's that okay. away. What do you want? Azeroth. That, that, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. And it comes with a, an adapter so that you can run other batteries in it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. This is something I never thought about until Casey brought it up, but she has nails. Like, Jess's nails. You have those talons if you're a, if you're a girl. They're talons, mm -hmm. and they're badass. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of the talons. But if you have talons like that, how is it going to be... 
how are you going to get in there? You have to press with your nail. You could, yeah, you, you could puncture yeah, that. Yeah, you could silicone. puncture that silicone. It's not a big enough opening for a female, I feel, with nails mm. to get in there at all. I don't know. Just not first impressions. These, nails, these girls are but, getting. But uh, we got an Azeroth squonker. Oh, this is the rest of the box? Yeah. Okay. I'm really fascinated by these 21.7 batteries. They just look badass. They, they look, look so badass, but I want them to be good batteries. Could you imagine running dual parallel or like dual regulated with batteries like that yeah. are 4,000 ma each? That would be That's amazing. That's crazy. Some serious battery life. If it's real. Obviously, we need, uh, we need a lot of testing on this. Paging battery mooch one last time. I'm going to throw these on my hey, charger, mooch. actually, right now. Check out Let's all see this fancy go. stuff that comes with it. Okay. So what's this one called? This is the D-Pro 133. D-Pro 133 comes with Fuse Clapton's and some cotton. It comes with an RDA that is the same RDA, new oh. and improved D-Pro, with no squonk pin on it. Yeah, how funny would that be if the squonk pin but it was does installed have, on that Look at that. One. It has like an Ultim uh, little thing. disc. Okay. Huh. Cool. Why does that exist? What's the benefit of that? I mean, D so Daniel's RDA, DJLSB Vapes, the Aura, had this on the bottom as well, but it was covering up, like, uh, big cutouts for airflow. Oh, okay. So that makes sense. But this is just kind of there. It's just there. Interesting. I don't know. Well, let's like screw it on the thing and see why it's there. Oh, this is two 18650s, man. I was thinking, fuck, how no. cool would that be to put two of these in there? But this is a dual 18650 box. There's no, oh, there's a screen on top. Big clicky screw button. That RDA feels, screw it, the RDA down. Screw the RDA down on there. I want to know why that Ultim thing is I don't know. in existence. Maybe it's to protect your mod. From scratching? Yeah, from scratching. Maybe. Yeah, it does make a gap. And it's because the Ultim isn't the same diameter as the RDA. It just looks weird. It does just look weird. Let's take it off and see if it screws down on there. So but that should be a floating 510. I would just so use it, it without it. Down. Yeah, I'm going to use it without it. I don't, less Ultim in my life, the better. And this <laughs> yeah. is visible Ultim. This is Ultim I have to look at. That is gross. Ultim is gross. Look at that Are color. You offended by Ultim? It looks like it's stabilized piss. That just looks gross. That's a gross color. Does anybody else in my subscriber world agree with me on Ultim that it's not pleasant to look at? I would like to put a poll on Instagram, but I would love to get your thoughts in the comments. How do you feel about visible Ultim? Drip tips, this, tanks, all Ultim. Do you like Ultim? Does Ultim bother you in any way? Not in any way, shape, or form. You know what's unpleasant to look at is when my neighbors don't take the trash to the dumpster. When they just leave it in front of their house. I consider that unpleasant, <laughs> okay? What if it was trash bags full of Ultim? <laughs> yeah, then, then you would be Yeah, offended. then we'd, we'd both yeah, be upset. You'd be totally triggered yeah. on that one. These O-rings on this... Yeah? Tell me that is not, oh, so good. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Coilart oh. does a good job. Coilart does a real good job. Oh. Right now, they're dry, though. Keep that in mind. I need a moment. Hold when on. they're wet, they get a little bit loosey-goosey. Oh, right. fuck, I don't know how long I was not recording for. I don't know how long I was not recording for. Did we talk about the Azeroth kit? <laughs> Did we talk about the Coilart, uh, what's this called? This is the, the D-Pro 133. Did we talk about that? When did I turn the camera off? We might have turned the camera off after the penguin no i think something flashed on the screen and it shut off we can oh did it really it oh, okay yeah. well we'll figure it out we'll get there when we get there sometimes it turns off if it runs too long anyway yeah i think it ran too long okay so yeah here's the thing and that's actually a kind of a cool looking little setup right there yep matchy matchy that looks pretty dope and matchy yeah just the ultima yeah let's line up that airflow I do, mm, I do yeah. not like the dirty look of Ultim on this. Yeah, place. it looks gross. It looks it's gross. Looks Unless it's dirty. polished. Polished Ultim actually looks kind of cool. But that matte, stabilized piss color. How's that airflow? Restricted. Yeah. It's only one hole on each side. I don't think that's designed to be like a big clouds bro clouds. Oh, I think that's like, like... angled downwards. I think that's like, welcome new vapor. Here's your mod. Here's your atomizer. You're going to have a good vape. Nope. The sharp edges. It's too sharp. Dwayne's just uh, fiddling with my stuff. I'm going to send that one home with you, and you're going to review it. <laughs> and I'm going to make you me. shoot a review and do a video and send it to me. Shoot it on my GoPro for you? Shoot it on my, yeah, shoot it on your GoPro. All I can think about right now is that these O-rings are covered in your slobber. Yeah, I'll review that one for you. <laughs> I'll brush my teeth. I'm gonna need to wash this first. Uh, That's all we have uh, for vape mail. That's it. That's all the vape mail we have. Uh, we're gonna get some lunch. We're gonna do some other things. And uh, what we still have lined up in this vlog is a retro vaping, which I have set up over there, which is gonna be great. And then later tonight, we're gonna taste some beer as well. And uh, I don't know, there'll be 
whatever else shenanigans. I don't know. As Dwayne, Kip would say, it's Dwayne's, whatever. It's whatever. Dwayne's the wild card today <laughs> in this situation. So should be good times. Should be good times. This is more stuff I stole from Grim Fucking Green. Here's pictures of his batteries. Oh, hey, we're still recording. Well, the Instagram has voted. And Instagram has voted that yes, we are going to drop this microphone. Microphone. What? Start over. Instagram has voted, and Instagram has voted that we are going to drop a basilisk mod on the ground. We're yeah. just gonna drop it on concrete. Fuck yeah. Dwayne has batteries. Yeah. You got batteries? Let's go. Let's go. All right, where's the mod? Okay, this is it. This is a basilisk that we're gonna break. It's got batteries in it. I think Twisted 420 already did a really good torture test of these. I wanna torture test it myself. The first test is gonna be pocket height. There might be a lot of uh, noise out here. Test, pocket test. Oh, okay. Yep, that's it. It's dead. It's well, done. That's donezo. <laughs> oh man. And there's little pieces of, uh, yeah, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, it's on fire! <laughs> it's not on fire. Oh. Wow, that that was one drop. Some duct tape, a tampon, and some string, and we can fix her right up. All right, turn well. Turn it on. Does it still turn on? Still yeah. vapes. Yeah, the wire's still good. Okay, okay, well, I mean. Oh, okay, well. It really it doesn't take, break much. Yeah, it does. There's two weak points. Th these are the weak points right there. Yeah. Those little notches are the broke. weak points. That's what broke on yours Yeah, that's first. what broke on mine first. Well, here, at least get your batteries out. Well, let's stress test it even harder. Let's... Oh, you're going to drop it from higher with no batteries? No batteries. Just. Oh, okay. That now that that's really broken. Sorry, let me get out of the road here. Fixed. Oh, nothing good happened there. No. That is not being fixed. Well, there you have it. Dead. Dwayne at the grocery store. Rice and beans, fam. Rice and beans. That's what you're looking for? Rice and beans for Ilea. Yeah, so uh, Ilea is going to come down and we're going to have rice and beans dinner. And me and Dwayne, especially, maybe more Dwayne than me, we give her a hard time about the whole rice and beans thing. Yeah. A little bit of a hard time about the There's rice and beans There's a video on thing. YouTube of her making rice and beans. Like, really, Ilea? <laughs> <laughs> rice and beans? But I'm a, I be, I'm a believer in rice and beans and Ilea's going to come down and we're all gonna cook rice and beans and consume rice and beans. We're gonna have rice and beans dinner. And so that's what we're in the grocery store now for. Found the beans. Also junk food, but mostly rice and beans stuff. It's all healthy. What? What'd, you, what'd you get? Yeah, donuts. Yeah, yeah exactly. Gluten-free. Gluten-free donuts. Gluten-free. Welcome to San beans Diego, so friends. Oh hey, what's up, guys? What's going? What's going on over there? I don't know why I started it like that. Yeah, you made that me was make really this dumb. face. As soon as you said that, I went like this. <laughs> hey, hey, what's hey, up? Hey, hey, hey. Well, we're gonna retro vape, Dwayne. Hey, we're up here uh, in my kitchen. This is maybe we'll switch it up a little bit for beer. Maybe we'll change the angle a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just five degrees. Just a little bit. Yeah, we'll just here's be a... like, here's retro vaping. Here's beer. Beer segment. Here's retro vaping. Here's beer. The Perfect. Batteries. But anyway, we're retro vaping today. And what we're vape what we're retro vaping is a mech mod. And you can tell the exact year this mech mod was made. This mech mod was made just because of the way that it goes together. The way that they did the button, the way that they did the locking ring. Oh, locking ring. Locking we're going ring. back to locking ring <laughs> days. A, this is a locking ring. Oh on here. wow. Locking ring. I remember those. This was 2014. I actually got this at ECC in 2014. 2600. Uh, this is the Guns Blazing, by the way. Guns Blazing. I did a review of this. I know for sure uh, our good friend Mr. Rip Trippers did a review of this as well. I didn't see a lot of other reviews, but I'll link to both of those in the description if you want to see what I thought about this mod in 2014. I don't want to watch that video. Yeah, we'll watch it. You want to do a live reaction video? Be watching <laughs> we'll you react videos? to the, my guns blazing. No, we'll but I have a uh, EFS twenty six six fifty in here. Oh, there's the O ring. See, that's the thing: is your uh -oh. battery sits on an O ring on the switch that falls out. I remember the O ring. So days. you got to put this together, and then wait, 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 just wait, wait till you see the top assembly. It's uh, yeah, it's the uh -oh. it's this design. That's the pin. That's the pin it had in there. And it was like uh, the 510 was press fit, and then this was to take up for battery rattle, which 
was a, it was a bad design. These, this was a dumb design. So many Mech Mod users did that. The design. Orion, what was that, Beyond Vape, the Orion that came out yep. and it had the same design with the O ring and that yep. thing. They had a couple more that came out that I got to use. And I just remember that O ring. Oh, the O ring, dude. God. Dude. We use a lot never, of O rings. We would never and go weird back in there. Threads. Yeah, never. yeah. Yeah, and then that's so finicky, that pen. You have yeah. to have that set. This just pin, though. Right. Here's the thing with this pin. This pin was actually an upgrade because it's uh, one for one threading with oh, these threads. Okay. So you can just kind of get this pin started, and then when you feel the resistance, you kind of just keep turning. Oh. And okay. it uses the threads. Mm -hmm. The threads are the same, so it yeah it actually it adjusts down it on there and kind of kind of better. perfectly. So uh, we're going to be vaping uh, original recipe recoil on top. These are MTurk coils at 0.1 on the nose at, on a single 26650. Did you have a 26650 mech mod ever? I that had you quite used? a few. Remember that stacked 26650? Oh the yeah, the stacked one. Oh, I need to bring that thing back. I need to find that thing. I was going to bring back my uh, stacked uh, purge mod. Stacked 18650 Purge mm -hmm. Mod. Stack needs to come back. Stacked, I have the best is, build for Stack. Series is so intense. Oh, yes. look at that. Vapors are happening. This is uh, Styx. I just grabbed a bottle of Styx e-liquid because it's good and I haven't vaped it in a while. It's a strawberry wafer. It's actually one of my favorite strawberry juices mm. of all time. Berries. It's a strawberry wafer. Boom. Look at that. All right. Allow me to take the first pull. Yeah, break that it's gonna work. Here. It's gonna work great. The co the contacts are still clean. This is a mech mod, so all you need to do to bring a mech mod back from the dead is just clean the contacts. And Especially it'll these older fire. Ones. Yeah, yeah, these things are bulletproof. And it'll fire every time. Yep, that's happening. Damn, and it's good. Hit it. That hits hard. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm do it. it. That's not bad for a mech. Look at that. Look at all those clouds, bro. Tornado. Tornado. Yeah. Tornado. Yeah. Be God. Tornado. Be God. Johnny Be God. No, that didn't work. That is... It's good. Yeah, that thing it feels like I'm holding a... I don't know, like a piece of tubing in my hand, like a well, axle I, I feel a like, car. Yeah, it does yeah. feel very mechanical, doesn't it? <laughs> it feels like this could be a car park. But that's... You know that that's like... That's quality. That's not... Yeah, this is insane not quality. Some piece of crap that's just sleeved. No. You can just and feel. a lot of people, you know, they get down on mech mods. They're like, oh, I just don't want a tube with contacts. Well, there's so much more involved. Mm -hmm. And when they do it right like this, I think this is a great mech. I don't even mind the locking ring. I don't use it. But this is a bitchin' mech right here. Oh, those clouds. <laughs> yeah, you got some. Oh, I got a little. Anyway, uh, what do you think about this guns blazing? You think it stands the test of time? If this <laughs> came so out, freaking if lootly. this came out like next month and was not as much as it cost when it came out, if that was like I don't know, an eighty dollar mod, I'd rock one. Yeah, absolutely, I would rock one. Yep, stands the test of time. Especially those are M Turk coils. And that's a .1 on a 20, EFES 26650, which is a good battery. We can't be vaping these. These didn't come out till after 2014. <laughs> <laughs> MTurk wasn't in existence. That's why retro vaping circa, works. Circa Niagara Falls was when MTurk started really to come hit to it, light. Hit the scene. What was that? 2016? No, 20, Niagara Falls was 2015. 2015. Mm -hmm. So we're close on the retro vaping pair. The coils and the well, let's just be honest. The recoil didn't come out till a year and a half ago. So yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? We got some advanced equipment on this one. Yeah, it's not full advanced. retro vape. It's, yeah, it's just not, we're just testing out the mod right now. We would be using 26 gauge. I feel 26 like, gauge. Well, let's see. If it was 2014, I'd probably have a tugboat on top. In fact, at ECC 2014, I had a tugboat too on that mod. And I was vaping uh, classified. You remember classified liquids? Yeah, classified. Classified is fucking delicious liquids. Did you like the slam cap on that tugboat? Uh, I didn't have a slam cap at that time. That's it's amazing. really it's good. It's super heavy, but... It's I super heavy, but damn, this gun's blazing. It stands the test of time. This is still a damn good mech mod. And now, I mean, how many mech mods do you think have come out <laughs> between the guns blazing and today? I don't know. A few hundred? No. Maybe more than that? that? You think yeah. it was more than a few hundred? Oh, yeah. You think it was more than 300? No. I'd, okay. say, I'd say 300 or under. 300 and under mech yeah. mods? There's someone, there's some way we have to be able to find out How that many information. How points do you think have come out? Oh since my god, no, no, and now, I don't even know. Uh, a thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand. I don't know. 10, it could be more. Yeah, you look like you're just enjoying that thing. Yeah, it's good. I like this vape. I'm gonna vape it tonight. 
Are you going to hog it all night or are you going to share? No, I'm hogging it. <laughs> Come on, bro. Okay. You like this the sticks? What do you think of sticks? Yeah, sticks are really good. Sticks I mean, it's outside good. my flavor profile. But it's fucking good. But it's actually really fucking good. Yeah, so there you go, guys. Uh, Guns Blazing Retro Vaping from 2014. Still stands up. Still stands the test of time. Yeah, I think sick as tits. Yeah. I... <laughs> Game face on Nick. Yeah, it's yeah. Game face on. Yeah, I know for sure that Dwayne makes a lot of uh, Rip Trippers jokes. He kind of cracks on the world. Uh, yeah. It's not even. Don't discriminate it, yeah. against any it's, set. It's everybody. Person. It's the world. Yeah. Filter change. Stop it. <laughs> Everybody who snaps on camera has the filter change ability. Mm -hmm. I just that can't wasn't pronounce a good them. one though. I that can't pronounce them. I go vinaigrette. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a salad dressing. That's not a filter. I want that to be a filter. Vinaigrette. Yeah, I swear. You're I'm gonna go back to man, school Dwayne. one day and I'm gonna learn something, guys. Like vinaigrette isn't a filter. Yeah, like vinaigrette is not a filter. Anyway, we're just gonna throw a bumper right here. We're gonna parlay this right into the beer segment. Mm -hmm. Rotate five degrees. <laughs> a new day has dawned, and Dwayne returns from the mini mart. Yeah, with the worst coffee cake ever. You got coffee cake? Oh, you ate it halfway over here and you decided you didn't like it? That's dedication to a coffee cake. I mean, that's, it's dedication to quality is what that is. good, it would be gone. Right. <laughs> It'd just be in your pocket. No, I just ate this. It's no big deal. It's whatever. We got a couple more vlog segments to shoot today. We're going to taste a random juice, and I think that's it. And here's what Dwayne gets at the quick stop. Muscle milk and Red Bulls. He got 17 of each, and he's good for the day. Red Bull and muscle milk? Oh, really? That's... Yeah. You take that, then you go to the gym, and you... <laughs> I don't know what... You know, like, you know, I guess it's more like a this motion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go to the That's gym. Right. Yeah, no, yeah. They, they usually kick you out for that kind of stuff, <laughs> for that kind of behavior. Go to the gym, and you lift things. Anyway, more, more vloggy goodness. Well, we went and got uh, grab-and-go sandwiches, and I was just joking at Dwayne, like, Hey, should we another, do another drop test on the basilisk? I think feel like we put these through enough. Here's the thing. It's a really fucking cool mod. I like it a lot. You haven't used yours. Tell me how you like it, because I like it. Just don't drop it. This is like, you have to treat it like an iPhone 10. Like, you don't even look at it wrong. Some people are hard on their mods. If you're real hard on your mod, man, you can't, can't be dropping this. But otherwise, it looks so cool. Nice size. I really like this mod. I, even after the, the two breaking experiences, I still really enjoy this. Just don't drop it. That's it. You 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 you, you don't drop stuff every day. Just keep doing that with this mod. Just don't drop it anyway. That's what we're doing uh, at this moment. Yeah, getting fat. For anyone interested, uh, grab and go sandwiches in Little Italy. Oh, I can't film the plane. Grab and go sandwiches in Little Italy, San Diego, California, are the best sub sandwiches. I've ever had. I used to eat here all the time, and now I don't. I don't get to eat here all the time anymore because I got too damn fat. <laughs> I don't know. Drop test. Just <laughs> drop test. Dwayne is still here, yeah. and we're actually. Uh, we do have some more vlog segments to film today. We got a few more. That's why the vlog is going to be late. But Dwayne's here still, and we're about to record the podcast. We're recording the culture. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, it you. That was not me. You're out of breath. Look at your face. No, th that, that was is not the me. face of guilt. Oh no way! You just farted in my you were office. Pupping and pupping. <sighs> yeah, it's just because I just walked upstairs, bro. No, it's because you just farted in here. It's because you just farted. Anyway, we're recording the Culture of Clouds podcast. We still got some more vlog stuff to do, so there's going to be more vlog coming. Even though I feel like it's already kind of a long vlog, it'll be good. Run a little long. Running a little long we're this a week. Forty-three into the vlog and running, running a little, little long already. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> 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 he used to do that all the time. <laughs> hey, Dwayne. Hey, Nick. Dwayne. Yeah, bro. Do you want to taste a random juice with me? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Grab a stool, bro. Grab it. So we, 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 we've been shooting a lot of video, and we've been doing a lot of stuff. And oh, let me, Dwayne's let me hunched down in a chair with a hard light on you. That's a hard light right there. Teacher? It's okay. Teacher, can I use the restroom, please? So listen, we've already shot a lot of this vlog. We've got a lot of weird stuff in there. Yeah. We've got some normal Sorry. segments. There's going to be two segments that just aren't in this vlog. One of them's getting to know Grim Green, and one of them uh, is uh, viewer mail. So we'll save all of the getting to know Grim Green and viewer mail for the next 
next vlog, but we're gonna end this vlog right here. In fact, I don't even have any favorite comments of the week. I have zero. I have zero screenshots of favorite comments of the week, so we're not gonna be able to include that either. Oh! You just didn't do them or there just wasn't good comments? Uh, I honestly uh, went through a bunch and was looking for comments and didn't really see anything that was like tickled my fancy. I saw like two good comments, I think. So we'll have to save them. We'll just save them for next week. It's no big deal, it's whatever. But how we're gonna end this vlog is with a very random juice tasting and what we're tasting today. Have you ever heard of this? Nata. Nope, nada. Nata. That's not your flavor profile though, is it? Nata. 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 These labels are super sticky, hold on. They are sticky, right? Look at this. I could almost make that stick to my finger. He's trying to be David Blaine ah, back here. Yeah, watch this. But it's really, I don't know, it's really glossy and sticky. But yeah, you've never run across sticky labels I before? Have. We used yeah. to use sticky labels for a while. Look, this is bothering uh, oh, me. Oh, that was my foot. Hang on. I'm wearing socks. Is that better? Yeah, that's way better. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's much better. So we got this Nata e-liquid. N-A-T-A, Nata. It says, it's a Portuguese custard tart which is not in Dwayne's preferred flavor profile, as it were. No. All you vape is fruit flavors, right? You don't well, vape bakery flavors. No, not for all days, if I'm gonna just But you enjoy be them, honest. like from I, time I, I to time. I can appreciate. Yeah, sure. I can appreciate custards, I can appreciate desserts, but Portuguese I just Portuguese egg tarts? I, I have a feeling this. I think I'm gonna really like this juice. Um, we're gonna be tasting it out of the Reload RDA. It's fantastic, and it's sitting on top of the Vape Wild, what's this called, the Funky. This is the Funky 160. It's rainbowy colored, and there's the RDA on top. It's rainbowy, rainbowy panels. That blue looks amazing. The blue and purple. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, there it is. That's the setup. That's what we're working with right there to taste this juice. So I am gonna let Dwayne have the first puff of the mm. Nata e liquid. Okay. Nata e liquid. Mm. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? How do you? What do you think? Give us your first impressions. Give us your thoughts, Dwayne. That's that's weird, bro. It's weird, bro. I, okay. I get custard. I get a light cinnamon roll. Yeah. Very eggy and is it custardy. Really buggy? Eggy, eggy, creamy. Is yeah. it creamy? Would you describe uh, it as creamy? Creamy, eggy. Too much eggy. What we're gonna do is what we always do. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna vape this a little bit, we'll talk amongst ourselves, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll give you a, a much better description than eggy. Yeah, okay, so it sucks. <laughs> okay, so we were vaping it, we were talking about it, and the first thing I wanna point out is, I don't know what bottles these are, but I do not like these bottles. This isn't a chubby gorilla, this is a different one. And it doesn't leak, but it doesn't, all it does is drip. I can squeeze it as hard as I can, and it does not pour out in any capacity. It literally just drips. And that might be a good thing for a lot of people, but it annoys me. That's just something that annoys me, sorry. Or you can sometimes stick like a thumbtack down in there yeah. and widen it out a little Board bit Pour it out or circumcise it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been vaping this uh, as per usual. I mean, there's no real surprises here. I actually really like it. Dwayne is not a big fan of it. What do you get out of it, Dwayne? What do you taste when you vape so, it? So, like we were talking about earlier, but nobody heard that, it tastes like cinnamon sticks, but yeah. not sweet. No. Cinnamon sticks, like a very- It's like a- very muted. It's like a dry cinnamon stick flavor. Like when you buy cinnamon sticks from the grocery store, it's that flavor. With a little custard. There's some custard in there. There's some, I feel like there's like a flaky, uh, crusty sort of situation going on as well. It's not overly sweet, which I really, really it's like. It's a little bit mellow. It's, it's a little bit sweet, but it's not like candy sweet. It's like bakery sweet. It's like the difference between a custard and uh, a candy. Like, there's a big difference there. They're both sweet, but the, what, this was just not 
overly sweet. That makes sweet. no sense, and I disagree. They're both sweet, it's, and they're just this one's just not overly no, chocolate sweet. Chocolate cake is really sweet, it's right? Like but this isn't chocolate cake. Is this is you're tasting a custard. Comparing it, you're comparing it in your head as to, to a like a candy. Roll. It's like I'm a cinnamon roll. I'm comparing it to what the logo is on the bottle. It's not. And it's last a time custard. I went, that's not a cinnamon, cinnamon run. That's a that's a custard. Oh, that's you're a right. caramelized custard with cinnamon sticks and a white and a crust. So that's oh, I'm that's not getting the um, yeah, I'm not getting the creme brulee. Crust yeah, there, it looks like creme brulee, but it doesn't taste like sugary creme brulee. It tastes no. like a little bit mellow of a custard. I taste the crust, and I definitely taste that like dry cinnamon stick flavor. So yeah, it's pretty accurate to what's on the bottle. I thought that was a roll. I really like this. I'm gonna keep this setup going. You're gonna be over that in a few days. Watch. I'm gonna ditch that Ultim drip tip though. I'm gonna put a DHD nub tip on there. I really like it. I, I like this juice. Uh, I would actually, on this might be the first time I ever say this, but I would actually like it to be a little bit sweeter. I wish it was sweeter, but it's still really good. I still really like it. I'll put a link down in the description to the Nata e-liquid where you can check it out, pick it up if you are interested. But this is. In actuality, the ending of the vlog. Oh, we're gonna end Lord. it right now. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna end it. We've done a lot this week, shot a lot of video. I apologize for this being late up onto YouTube, but doing the best I can. We had Dwayne here all week, yeah. doing doing vlog I threw stuff. Throw a wrench into the program. Throwing I'm wrenches. So sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Uh, hashtag wrench thrower. It was totally worth it. Yeah, though. totally worth it. Uh, unbelievably worth it. If I if I can choose to spend time with Dwayne, of course I'm. Of course. Thanks for making time. Of I'm course, so sorry I'm you have 800 time emails Dwayne. to catch up on now. It's no big deal. It was it's worth whatever. the two days. It's worth it to hang out with Dwayne for two days. Just an idea of how many emails he answers on a daily basis. <laughs> it's two days. Not that two much. days back. Yeah, we'll keep the emails coming, please. <laughs> Just email oh, Nick why? questions, ask him, hey, that reload that. RDA, what yeah. size are the screws? Yeah, you definitely. <laughs> like, yeah, you definitely emails, don't have to do that. To but anyway. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be back to normal next week throughout the end of the year. Normal reviews, normal vlogs, normal fun, grim, green times. Um, don't forget to check out CASA. Get involved in advocacy. You don't have to do everything, but you do have to do something. And you can find us all over social media. Let's do the big plug at the end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You can find me on Instagram at Grim Green, Twitter at Grim Green, Omboyosi at Omboyosi on Instagram. All of those places are wonderful, and yeah, I don't know. Apparently, I don't know how to end vlogs now. All right, well, all right, well, well here we go. Green, green. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. That's Good. Ooh, special effects. Yeah. I like that. Homeboy OC. What up, dude? What are we doing? Uh, we're doing nothing but look behind me. What's going down? We've got beans. We've got. Rice. Oh, my rice isn't good enough, though. This is the bad rice. This is the unapproved That's rice that Ilya did not approve of my rice. And we have an Ilya. Yeah. I wish I had an apron. That would have made it better. And this eventually is going to be something we eat. Don't look at it now. <laughs> Don't look at it now. So we put some garlic salt in the beans. We put some black pepper in the beans. And we put some cayenne. My yeah, favorite. but then we're going to put a bunch of other stuff in it. Okay. I'm really hungry at this point. Yes. Yeah, you're yes, very I'm hungry. I'm starving. Now. And uh, this has been two years that I've been waiting for these these rice and beans. Is there a certain technique you use when you're dumping the beans into the <laughs> sauce all pan? All in the wrist, baby. It's all, all in the, the wrist. wrist. It's like a little flip. <laughs> Just a little flip. I'm expecting magical rice and beans. These have a lot to live up to. I have high hopes though. I think they're going to be really good. I feel like Ilya wouldn't have been eating them for the last 10 years or 20 years or however long, if they weren't quality, quality food items. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's choppings going on. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is great. Right this now is we great. got some green onions. I don't want to do this in like a fast motion-y thing. Look at this coming together. Mm-hmm. Bravo, Ilea. You need the avocado on there, yeah? You like avocado? Yeah, oh, yeah, so many avocado. Yeah, avocado me up. Dwayne, Bro. how- Don't be stingy. Uh, how excited are you for these <laughs> this fucking rice I'm so beans, hungry dude. right now. Yeah, yeah this is like just teasing me. Tell the camera what you think of the rice and beans. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> just leave that to future Nick to edit. Yeah. Future Nick always has to do all the work. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not even going to turn the camera. I'm going to sign off with my thumb. I'm going to be like, guys, thank <laughs> you. Good. It was a great vlog. Thanks. To, shout out to Ilya. 
Wake Modco and Rural Minutes Mechanics for providing us this wonderful family dinner of rice and beans. Mm. Shout out to Dwayne, uh, my bro, homeboy OC. Love him. Love you guys. Shout yourself That's out. It. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't need to shout, shout myself out. That's ridiculous. Green, green. Yeah. Green, no. green, no. Hey, green. Like, comment, subscribe. No, it's cool. And, uh, as always, everybody, yeah, let's keep on vaping. Well, I would say that Rice and Beans was a big hit. Sweeping success. Thanks, Ilya. Dude, she made Rice and Beans. It was amazing. Dwayne had to leave. He chowed down his Rice and Beans. Had to leave. Huge bummer. But uh, I'll miss Dwayne. But things will get back on track next week. Ilya. <laughs> yeah. You know. Bye. She came down. She rocked the house. And uh, yeah, it's been good time. So anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. I already did a sign-off, but I know I just wanted to do a real sign-off. Okay, bye!